Hi everybody, my name is Priscilla Hall and I'm um, doing a reading tonight specifically for the full moon in Taurus and um, this ro- this recording is actually nearly, nearly um, 12 hours late or over 12 hours late um, in terms of not doing a recording prior to the event. However, it seems to be that um, yeah, the information is coming through in a more relaxed and uh, flow manner. Um, so the energy around this point in time is um, about solidifying and, and grounding ourselves in the changes that we've been um, we've been experiencing with the uh, Scorpio um, new moon and also with the eclipses that have been very intense for everybody and lots of changes happening. So um, without further ado, I shall turn the card around and have a look at what card we have. So this particular card is specifically called Guidance. And um, what I'm getting from this particular card tonight is about understanding that there are messages around us all the time. And it's up to us, each of us, to tune into those messages and trust our internal guidance system. We all have it, and um, and it's really important that we trust the messages that we're going to be receiving. One of the things that we do in our mainstream living is um, is always look for logic, or always look for um, the most you know common sense or logical way of looking at something. And sometimes our initial reaction is overridden by our desire to um, come up with a logical response or a logical reason why something is happening or not happening for that matter. And this card is reminding us definitely that we must be trusting our inner guidance. Um, It's an internal sat-nav, so to speak, and it's very powerful and it's something that we should listen to regularly. And it is very difficult to listen to this when we've got so many distractions going on around us. There's so much happening in our worlds. There's so much push and pull and change um, interactions with people in our lives that um, for, with people around us who may be going through in, incredible intense changes and that's affecting us directly and sometimes we then forget to look after ourselves and tune in and actually listen to our own guidance. We all have angels, so to speak, um, And we all have um, the wings of the angels to lift us up and above and help us view things from a different perspective as well. Another way of looking at things to help you listen to your own guidance is to actually remove the emotion from something and lift yourself right away from it and look at it from a distance, even if that means, you know, removing yourself physically from the environment or... um, Oh gosh, can't even think of, of what what other ways that could be. But uh, yeah, definitely removing yourself from the influences and the sphere of intense energy and frustration that may be making it difficult for you to listen to your own intuition. Um, our lives have ways of, of drawing us down into the nitty gritty, and they also have ways of of drawing us into the mundane, and maybe even the you know the petty, um, and so it's sometimes wise to take a big step back and give yourself some distance so that you can look at something and um, with a bit of distance and uh, and have a look at it from an intuitive perspective or a feeling perspective rather than a thinking perspective. And when we look at it from a feeling perspective, we often tend to look at it more intuitively than with logic because logic tends to strip away or di- somehow diminish why something feels so strong or feels so powerful and uh, hmm. so and also too something to to remember that there's always light around us there's always a, a guiding light around us sometimes that's in the form of someone we know really well who's very good at um, helping us cut through uh, the craziness that's going on around us And sometimes it can be as simple as I mentioned earlier, stepping back and creating distance so that you can shine light on something from a different perspective or just from um, a bit of time out, giving us a chance to look at things differently from a different angle. So uh, sometimes our guidance comes from people around us, but nine-tenths of the time it does actually come from within and it's learning to trust this internal guidance that is really powerful. 
so many changes, so much is going on for everybody and learning to listen to our own guidance at this point in time is very, very, very important and when we learn to do it um, and we learn to trust it, um, it, it will really never guide us in the wrong direction because our direction is our direction and not anybody else's and that's very easy to forget when we get caught up in the maelstrom of what's going on around us, especially with people who matter um, especially when you've got close one, you know, close close ones going through massive change, it's very easy to get caught up in their stuff. So, time to step back, trust your intuition, trust your own guidance, and know that you're heading in the right direction. And if you're unsure, then do take time out, ask someone that you trust to give you a different perspective, so that you can get clarity and and move in the direction that that really matters for yourself. Okay, well, there's going to be another reading in the. Um, for the new moon in December. I'm not sure the exact date of that, but anyway, it'll, I'll do a reading for then. And um, yeah, namaste and much love. Thank you.